John chapter 3 verse 36 says that anyone who does not believe is abiding under the wrath of God. That's what it says. Those who believe have everlasting life. Those who don't believe will not see life, but the wrath of God abides upon them. That's what the Bible says. We need to be warning people that the wrath of God abides upon them. And that if they don't come to the Lord and lay hold of this precious gift of salvation that God is offering through His Son, Jesus Christ, they are going to face the judgment of God's wrath for all of eternity. We can't go around these important truths because we don't want to make people uncomfortable. We can't be silent on these important truths because we don't want to make people uncomfortable. This is an uncomfortable message. Talking about hell will make people uncomfortable. Yet the truth of God's word is that most people are on the broad way that leads to hell. And if we love people, we need to tell them the truth. It's not unloving to tell people that the life that they're living outside of Jesus Christ is a life that's on the broad way that leads to hell. And we plead with them. We say, sir, look, you need to get right with God. God offers mercy and salvation, but there is a day of judgment coming. There is a day where you're going to stand before him and you're going to give an account for your life. And you're going to go to hell if you have rejected Jesus, if you have lived for yourself, if you have not come to the saving grace of Jesus Christ, if you have rejected God's salvation, you, sir, are going to face God's rejection at the judgment. This is a serious thing, sir. It's not unloving. Although men might feel that it's unloving, it's not unloving. It's the truth, my friend. If I knew that there was a big hole in the ground over there and one of my friends was walking at night and you couldn't see the hole, I want to warn my friend and say, hey, buddy, look here. Don't go on that side of the shed. There's a big hole. You can't see it, but you're going to fall in it. Don't go. That's not unloving to warn my friend that there's a hole on the other side of the shed that he can't see. And if he goes walk that way, he's going to fall in the hole. That's not unloving. It's the same thing when we warn people about hell. It's not unloving to tell them, look, you on your way to hell. There's a judgment because of sin. And God made an atonement for you, sir. God sent his son to shed his blood for your sin so that you can be saved. Yet you have to be willing to come to the Lord. You have to be willing to repent and believe the gospel. If not, you're going to to go to hell that's not unloving yet you will have professing christians that will accuse you of being unloving and it's because they are cowards it's because they don't really love people it's because they love themselves and they want to look good in front of men they want men to like them and they don't tell them the truth they try to seduce them with some type of prettied up message of the bible and they don't talk about the important truth of hell. And all they do is paint like this pretty picture about salvation and an atonement. And look, the, the message of the atonement and the crucifixion of Jesus is beautiful. Yet, if you just tell people this and you don't tell them, look, there's a judgment because of sin. God made an atonement for you so that you can be saved. If you do not come to God, you're going to be judged and you're going to go to hell. If you don't, tell them the truth about hell the atonement comes and it sounds like this mindless little jingle to them and, and it makes no no sense to them at all why do they need an atonement if you're not telling them that they're on their way to hell they're under the judgment of god and it's not unloving to warn them and tell them the truth the bible says that he who believes is not condemned but he who does not believe is already condemned 
because they have not believed in the name of the one and only begotten son and that's Jesus there is only one name given amongst men that we can be saved and that is Jesus my friends you must come to the mercy seat of the Lord Jesus Christ men everywhere must repent because God has appointed a day of judgment where he is going to judge the world in righteousness through his son Jesus Christ and it is going to be a very fearful thing to fall into the hands of the of the living God yet you know what I believe is going to be more fearful all the preachers that watered down God's word that seduced the people with this watered down message because they didn't want the people to get angry they didn't want the people to not like them so they went around the most important truths of the Bible and left these people deceived and they die and they go to hell these Christians these preachers these Men that's supposed to be men of God that's not bringing the full counsel of the Lord is going to be in big trouble. That's going to be a very fearful thing. I just want to be faithful to preach the truth. I know that one day I'm going to stand before God. You who are watching me right here, you're going to stand before God. And you better be preaching the truth. If you are preaching, if you are a Christian, you are called to be a witness and you need to tell people the truth. Not just some of the truth, the whole truth. You have to tell people the whole argument. That there's heaven and there's hell. Just like there's an up, there's a down. Just like there's a left, there's a right. Just like there's a back, there's a forward. Just like there's a heaven, there is a hell. There's mercy and there's wrath. And my friends... We need to give them the full argument. We need to tell them the whole counsel of God so that they would know the truth and that the truth may set them free. Be blessed today. In Jesus' name, keep being faithful to the Lord. Tell people the truth. It's not unloving to tell people about hell. It's not unloving to warn people that they on the broad way that leads to hell. You can use discernment and know if they drinking and they are drunkard and they're not reading their Bible and they just live in worldly and, and they live in an ungodly and unholy life. You can use discernment. These are the people that's going to hell. These are the people that's on the Broadway. These are the people that we need to warn. Use your discernment and tell people the truth. Be blessed today in Jesus mighty name.